I'm Jackie Gill. Two Latinos are breaking barriers in NASCAR. And could there be a super hybrid that can run more than 500 miles on a single tank of gas? Plus a sneak peek at what's hitting theaters. Color starts now. At 100 miles per hour, there's no room for air. And for a while, there was no room for Hispanics. The sport is changing as more young Latinos hit the racetrack. Experience give you a little bit of uh, uh, patience. And patience is what Germán Quiroga, or GQ as I like to call him, Come on ladies. <laughs> will need to become an international race car figure, just as he hopes. For Juan Carlos Bloom to become a champion in his division, he'll have to work on his technique behind the wheel. It's hard sometimes uh, staying in the same page with other drivers. I the youngest driver in Nationwide right now and it's sometimes a little bit hard, but I'm young, I need experience, I need to get, get that. Just a few years ago, they made the move from NASCAR Mexico to the U.S. circuit, but it's not easy to break into these tracks. You see, existing drivers and their teams have major financial support from sponsors, giving them a legitimate chance to compete at the highest levels. That's the biggest challenge for Latino drivers breaking into NASCAR. Sponsors after the Hispanic market will go where Hispanics are expected to be. And no one knows that better than GQ. In my life, uh, definitely, I've, I've been uh, having up and downs. We were winning a championship in Mexico and um, we didn't have a sponsor. And they crashed me very bad. And um, I had to buy another car. It was a total blow when he was forced to sell his business to pay off his debt. It was very, very sad for me because um, the team that I um, joined and then owned, it was very good. But I had to close the, the shop. I sold everything. Then I stopped racing for about four months. So those four months were like very, very bad. Despite their personal losses, there are always wins. And those big wins are symbols of pride for Latinos. And what's very impressive about these two is that they started their careers when they were barely 14 and 15 years old. And that to me is very impressive. Now the first Hispanic to make his mark in NASCAR was Carlos Contreras back in 1999. And if you're interested in NASCAR, they have a development program driving for diversity, which finds new minority drivers and connects them new sponsors. We go from the Texas Raceway where we find some of the fastest cars to the Houston Auto Show where we'll find the latest in-car trends. Here's Luis. Ford just finished announcing the release of the new 2013 Fusion Energy which will be available in a few weeks. It's no wonder why this car got the name Most Connected Car by Connect the World and folks you won't imagine how many miles you can get out of this vehicle. We're pleased to introduce today in Texas, the Texas debut of the Ford Fusion Energy plug-in hybrid right here. The advancement of technology has changed our lives in many ways. Now technology is affecting the way our cars work by combining both an electric and gas engine that gives us the ability to ride more efficiently. So the car actually will drive 21 miles on, per, on pure electric mode, at which point uh, once it passes that range, it'll switch over to hybrid power, which is what contributes to the total range of 620 miles. But with technology being so advanced nowadays and everyone always staying connected, Ford is making sure that we have safer roads. Ford Sync technology featured on these cars has one goal in mind in helping you keep your eyes on the road. Everything's very voice activated focused. So we've got Sync, which is our software platform, um, which allows you to, you know, pair your phone and access by voice, you know, call mom, call dad. People are using their smartphones in the car. I don't think that's going to change. So we're just trying to provide a safer way to do that. For Color from the Reliance Center, I'm Louis Ortiz. Hey, what's up? It's March, and I'm excited about these two movies. This time around, it's G.I. Joe Retaliation, and our Joes are not only fighting their mortal enemy, Cobra, they are also fighting off threats from within the government. Anything I miss, General. Call me Joe. It's so beautiful. The Croods, the animated film, will be in theaters March 22nd and introduces you to the world's very first prehistoric family while they go on their family road trip to an uncharted world. It looks super cute. DreamWorks The Croods. Dad? I'll take care of this. Ah! <laughs> All right, 
dead. Get him. Go get him. Uh, I'm loving this. See you next month at the movies. Here at Color, we embrace sustainability, and we're so honored to be a part of this six-part doc series highlighting businesses and organizations that are making a huge difference in our community. Cheers to those innovators and trailblazers.